Yo, what's crack a It's your boy, Will, and we're back in better than ever with another episode of your favorite news network, Lake Street News. Today we've got stories about the ICSD budget vote, Ithaca car share, a break-in, a limo crash, and ICSD being sued. Ithaca residents will be asked to vote on a 2023 to 24 budget, as well as elections for the ICSD Board of Education. A hearing for the budget will be held at 5.30 p.m. in Ithaca High School's own Your Call on May 9th. School board elections as well as the budget vote will be held on May 16th from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. Four members will be elected to the ICSD Board of Education. Several current board members are running for re-election. The incumbents will face challenges from new candidates and will have to fight to the death to make their name on the school board. The three candidates receiving the highest number of votes will each be elected to an at-large full three-year term from 2023 through 2026. Ithaca Car Share is pausing its operations on May 19th until June 30th because of constant struggles to secure insurance here in New York State. Ithaca Car Share said that the reason is that, quote, New York State insurance regulators prohibit insurance groups from writing auto insurance in New York State unless they are domiciled here. This problem is unique to New York State, end quote. While local representatives have introduced bills in their legislative bodies addressing the issue, the bills have not been voted on. Car share officials will be meeting with state insurance regulators again this week in another attempt to remedy the situation. A Virginia-based conservative group, Parents Defending Education, filed a federal civil rights complaint last week against the Ithaca City School District. The group alleges that the district discriminated against white students during a Black Lives Matter event last month. In the complaint, the conservatives group said that the meetings violated federal civil rights laws because they excluded students who identify as white. The group asked the Department of Education to investigate the district and the events. IPD responded to Southworks on Aurora Street for a burglary at 10 a.m. on May 4th. It was determined that three people broke into the facility on the evening of May 3rd, damaging multiple locations throughout the facility. The subjects were caught in the facility camera system, but have not been identified. Anyone with information can contact the IPD. Anonymous tips are also welcome. Teenagers, am I right? An operator of a Saratoga County limo, limo company, Nauman Hussein, has gone on trial for his role in a 2018 limousine crash that killed 20 people. His trial is starting after, after a dramatic event last year where a judge rejected his plea deal, making him stay in trial for 20 counts of negligent homicide. Prosecutors are expected to argue in part that Hussein failed to maintain the limo's brakes and removed the state-issued out-of-service sticker from the vehicle to use it for more jobs. Hussein's attorneys have argued that he tried to maintain the vehicle and relied on what he was told by state officials and a repair shop that inspected it. Trouble is brewing for both of the Starbucks locations here in Ithaca. Nearly a year after successful unionization for the baristas, they tragically announced their closure. Starbucks says the closures are not rela related to the unionization, but some people are skeptical. The shop in the Barnes & Noble will remain open, but the others will close on May 26. This is the worst thing that happened to teenage girls since TikTok was almost banned. And there's been a war since then. Thank you all for watching Lake Street News. And have a good week.